Hello everyone, this is Anayat Mir back with learning Microsoft Windows Server 2016 video series section 1 topic 2. In this video we will talk about configuring Windows Server 2016 from my virtual computers. Just note that uh, that computer is not a domain controller as of now because that is going to happen in my next video. So DC is a host name. From search window, you can search, you wanna search anything from taskbar, you have those icons available, Windows Explorer, IE, or you can actually pin programs to the taskbar. From local server, you will see your computer name, your work group. You can also configure IP address directly from your local server window. I am going to add here my static IP address. We are going to use throughout this video series. And I would like to use a unique IP, static IP address, which I suppose to have a static IP because in the future, later on, I will use a DHCP server. So my IP will be 192.168.1.200 with my preferred DNS server. Because I'm using this server a, as a domain controller, I will use preferred DNS server IP address as my own IP address. That will be also IP address as a preferred DNS IP for my DC or for, for my clients, DNS clients. Currently, now my IP is refreshed. If it's not refreshed, you can just click on the top right refresh window. You have here now a dashboard where you can add roles and features. You can add other servers. You can create server groups or you can connect this server to the cloud. If you want to remove roles or features manage is a best place where you can go and remove roles and features if you recently installed any role or any feature you simply can refresh the window also from the add remove roles and features you can also remove your roles and features this was your administrative tool where you can get into computer management from computer management you can look at your local storage you may have in the environment sen storage area network with a fiber channel or with iSCSI but Currently, I am showing you just a simple concept. If you want to act as a SAN server or you want to manage some storage, you simply can go from the dashboard, use add, remove roles and features from your file and storage services option. You can make your server a file server if you want to. You can make your server a iSCSI SAN storage server by installing iSCSI target or you can use a FSRM file server resource manager this will let you manage disk quota for your users you can assign a quota to your users you can use a quota template for your users from any file server or if you want to add a DFS a distributed file system or any other role or any other feature you can add if you want to manage some other servers remotely you can add it under your all servers option and if you want to pin any program to your taskbar you can go into search window search the program and pin it or if you want to remove any pinned program you find the program right click and unpin that program you can go from explorer to your command line you can type powershell for a powershell window you can look at the PowerShell version by tapping a dollar host and that will give you PowerShell. We are up to date. Windows Server 2016 is using 
पावर शेल वर्जन 5.1 इन दिस न्यू ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो दिस वाज माय वीडियो नंबर टू आई विल सी यू इन माय वीडियो थ्री थैंक यू